We're at Ship's Harbor Grill here in Orange Beach, Alabama. We're with Chef Matt Ship. Matt, what are you gonna show us today? We've got some Gulf Red Grouper that we're gonna do pasta training style. It's one of our most popular dishes at the restaurant. It's really, really good. It combines the jumbo lump crab meat. It's got Gulf shrimp and of course the Red Grouper. Um, what we're gonna do is we've got a grouper filet. We're gonna kind of show you how to clean it. How we put a little flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. A little kosher salt and fresh ground black pepper and then we'll saute it and go. Alright. So what we got here is we do have our grouper filet. It's a beautiful piece of red grouper filet that comes in. Um, and what we want to do is we want to cut about a 6-8 ounce portion out of it. And we want to just cut out the belly part here. And then we're going to take the uh, midsection here and kind of cut it. What we want to do is put a little bit of kosher salt and black pepper on it. And then we're going to take it and roll with a little bit of flour. A little egg wash. Our egg wash is simply just eggs and a little bit of half and half. And then we're going to finish that with some panko breadcrumbs. And our panko breadcrumbs are sort of a, they're not as dense as the regular breadcrumbs, so it gets a little more flavor to it, doesn't make it as heavy as a dish. And then we're going to take it to the kitchen and, uh, and, and penne and finish it with our sauce. All right. Well, let's go in the kitchen and see how it gets uh, cooked. We're in the kitchen now. I'm going to show you how we prepare this, uh, this group of pasta train. What we've done is just put a little bit of oil in our saute pan here, and we're going to lightly penne our fish. We lay it in there and we're going to get a nice golden brown color on it. And while it's cooking, we're going to finish it in a high temperature oven, about 500 degrees for maybe six or seven minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and prepare our sauce. Now our sauce is made with red onions, a little bit of fresh mushrooms that we start out with. And we're going to add this to a hot pan. And then we're going to add a little bit of butter to it. And what we do is we add lemon butter to it when we cook. We're going to sort of saute this down. Add our shrimp. We have gulf shrimp that we add to it. And we're going to saute this down just a little bit. Add a little bit of seasonings to it. A little salt and pepper. And while we're doing this, you can see our fish is starting a nice little golden color on it. exactly where we want it to be. And then we're going to deglaze this with some white wine. That sort of brings it all together, brings out the flavors of the fish. And then the best part, at the end, we had our jumbo lump crab. Now, we're by the crab capital in the body, it's the best crab meat around. And so we had our jumbo lump crab to this, sort of brings it all together. Let that cook maybe two or three minutes just until the shrimp are translucent, not overly cooked and tough, and then we're going to top it all in our fish. And I'll show you how that works in just a few minutes. We'll throw this in the oven, let it cook a few minutes, and then we'll finish it up. All right, now we pull this out of the oven, and you see it's got a nice golden brown color to it. What we're going to do is we're going to place it on a bed of smoked gouda mashed potatoes, and use Yukon gold potatoes. And we're going to take our sauce that we made here, which again is our crab meat and our shrimp, and we're just going to sort of pile all this on top. And this is some great stuff to eat here. And we're going to finish it with just a little bit of lemon butter all on top. Kind of brings all the flavors together. There we have it. It's our red grouper pasta train.